Hey, what's up? This is Jag Mangit for Sports Post Podcast. This is National Donut Day, so happy Donut Day. Pick yourself up a chocolate donut or honey color um, from Dunkin' Donuts if you're in the States, from Tim Hortons if you're in Canada, and I have no idea where, where else uh, you're going to pick up donuts at because I don't eat donuts, but it is National Donut Day and Tim Hortons is about two minutes away from me so I might just go there you never know but then again I might not you never know so this is June 3rd or June 4th and let's talk about what happened in the NHL last night the Boston Bruins defeated Islanders 2-1 to and that series is 2-1 to for the Boston Bruins Tampa Bay currently still leads Carolina 2-1 to one series because Carolina won last night a game. So that series is also 2-1. to one. Tonight we have Colorado Avalanche. They're up on the Vegas Golden Knights 2-0. Two to, two to nothing. And also you have the Montreal Canadiens taking on the Winnipeg Jets and that series is currently one nothing for the Montreal Canadiens. So let's talk about what happened in the in the actual NBA. Now, if you take a look at uh, if you take a look at ESPN right now, got that on right now. You pretty much guessed it. All the headlines are the Lakers. They lost last night. Uh, clearly not healthy. And uh, Anthony Davis tried to play, but he just could not. CP3 and Phoenix Suns took advantage of that because if you took a look at the game every time he had the ball somebody was guarding him like like totally guarding him because they knew that he was hurt and CP3 took advantage of that and he called his teammates and said okay this guy's hurt you guys need need to take advantage of that of that situation so which they did um now you have questions around why was he playing Frank Vogel's uh, decision making um, Rob Palenka's decision making LeBron James considering that he left lack of sportsmanship he left uh, without shaking anybody's hands that was not cool um, he left five minutes into uh, left in the game in game uh, five I think it was not cool either I could tell he's frustrated he's hurt so essentially the Lakers they they're incredibly hurt right now. They're not healthy at all. You got KCP um uh Alex Crusoe, he had to leave. He got hurt. Um big off season for the Lakers because LeBron James and Anthony Davis they're going to get healthy regardless. Andre Drummond um I don't know if he returns. Alex Caruso, he's a pending free agent or something like that, so they would have to negotiate with him. KCP, he's under contract, but he's got to get healthy as well. And um, then you have Dennis Schroeder. There was a report saying that he wanted out, but when Dave McKinnon asked him, he said, uh, you got to go through s- bad stuff to get the good stuff. Um, that is not the words that he said. It was a bunch of cuss words. I can't say that on this show right now, but you get what I'm saying. And basically, uh, he's saying that he would love to return. I don't know if he does. Um, I think Montrose Harrell is also a free agent. I'm not 100% sure, but... You gotta cons- you gotta take into consideration Frank Vogel's decision making because he only played six minutes six minutes in the series. Apparently, Dr- Andre Drummond was bad. So, does Frank Vogel stay as a coach? That's one thing that people are wondering. Um, Rob Palenka he dropped the ball when he let Rajon Rondo walk. Um, Dwight Howard walk and Javale McGee he traded him. Because think about it this way. Everybody is saying that Anthony Davis is all glass. He's always injured. And that's true. He's always injured. But last year, if you take a look at it, 
JaVale McGee and Dwight Howard did a lot of the dirty work uh, for the playing the center position. And Anthony Davis did not have to do that. But they left, and who was their backup? Because Marcus, oh, by the way, Marcus all is gone, 100%. You, like, that's 100% gone. There's a chance that he signs with Barcelona this offseason. And, um, yeah, yeah, so he's gone. But uh, Marc Gasol could not fill that uh, void that Dwight Howard and JaVel McGee left. And basically, um, you had that uh, you had that void right there because Anthony Davis took a lot of beating. Think about his time in New Orleans. His time in New Orleans, he did not have the uh, proper backup center that he needed, and he would always get hurt. But last year he did, and he never got hurt. This year he never had that kind of same um, backup, and he was injured like a record amount eight times this year. So, and that's another thing. People are people are uh, the media is actually wondering about his training schedule because LeBron James is thirty six years old, barely ever gets hurt, um, and Anthony Davis is like twenty six, twenty seven. He always gets hurt, so maybe Anthony Davis needs to call LeBron's trainer and <laughs> and actually train with him because yeah, you're you're talking all that and. Um, Basically, uh, it's it's quite the off season for the Lakers, and they'll find out what to do. Um, so yeah, and all, all in all, Lakers pathetic um, year dealt with a lot of injuries. But at the end of the day, you gotta give credit to where credit is due. They tried very hard. Um, they made a late run last night didn't last LeBron James uh, kept driving to the hoop which he should have done in the beginning but it is what it is uh, frustration started to kick in and off season is good for them because I'd rather have them lose in the first round as opposed to keep going keep going and then lose because they were not healthy at all and anyone who watches basketball anyone who doesn't watch basketball would be able to tell just by looking at, at, at the games and whatnot and you, you know give credit to where credit is due Anthony Anthony Davis did try to play last night and he made the effort trying to play a lot of people are are um, full of questions this this morning like Frank Vogel's uh, decision on whether to play him or not because clearly he was not good to go in the beginning um, of the game but he Frank Vogel put him in uh, Rob Palenka's decision making on on these free agents and whatnot and you know on on um, how you let key players go I wasn't a fan of the Rajon Rondo walking I was not a fan of Dwight Howard walking I was not a fan of JaVale McGee walking but it is what it is you can't fight that now and We'll see what happens. So, also, um, besides the Lakers uh, getting eliminated last night, had Portland Trailblazers getting eliminated last night. And Portland, when they got eliminated, uh, Dame Lillard, Damian Lillard, who is ice cold, he's a phenomenal point guard, tweeted out or uh, put on Instagram saying, how long can I be dedicated to this game? I think Terry Stotts is gone. Um, do you think that Damian Lillard might want to trade? I don't think he would demand a trade, but if I'm Portland, I'm listening to offers because you're getting bounced out in the first or second round in the last, what, five, six years. And it comes a time when you just got to blow it up. And whether you trade CJ McCollum or you trade Damian Lillard that is the only options and as far as I know right now my sources are telling me that Miami Heat Clippers Lakers 
and the New York Knicks are interested in Damian Lillard. I don't know whether it happens, but that's a pretty big pi price tag, and we'll see um, it, what what uh, what happens in the future because clearly Portland needs to do something, and whether they trade for someone else to bring like a bring in a superstar with Damian Lillard or whether they trade Damian Lillard to get a lot of other pieces because at the end of the day there something has to happen I like Damian Lillard is a hell of a player and he has to um, he has to you know take his place into uh, uh, the finals like his in the Hall of Fame kind of thing status legendary status because you're you're getting bounced out you're one hell of a player like if you ask me Devin Booker versus Damian Lillard I would have rather have Damian Lillard because he's a hell of a player but Devin Booker is going to the second round and Damian Lillard is not so basically Devin Booker has that supporting cast Damian Lillard does not so you got to do something if I'm Portland you have to do something and the time is this offseason so you got to think about that make sure you tune in tonight Mavericks taking on the Clippers Clippers facing elimination Mavericks must win tonight no other choice and um, yeah it's uh, game six and that is the last game last two teams in the first round so make sure you tune into that and uh, see who wins to face the Utah Jazz in the second round. This is Jag Mangit for the Sports Post Podcast. This is June the 4th, 2021. And happy National Donut Day. <laughs>